So a really exciting announcement from Craig yesterday on the community Facebook group, uh, giving us the heads up that the real time five second uh, data polling and refreshing is becoming available imminently. I've woken up today, I've updated my test systems to the latest firmware versions, and I can confirm they do support five second data refreshes. So it makes the app feel much more alive and real time with what's going on in the home or business. As you turn a device on, you see that load change almost immediately on the app. So it's a reduction from about five minutes with data updates to the app to around five seconds. Craig's done a really good article that I'll link in the description with a video demo and a table that shows hardware compatibility and version requirements. But I thought I'd go into another layer of detail after noticing a number of questions on the Facebook group and the forum. So with that, let's just start with a, another demo of what it looks like. Okay, so what you're looking at here is a Gen 2 H1 series that I'm um, testing this, this update out on. And if you watch the load number on the top left side of that roof panel, see it's just jumped down. Now it's jumped up. So that was less than a five second update. That was more like a second. Uh, this is me when I'm recording, I'm turning things on, kettles, lights, etc. So you can see that my immediate loads are being reflected within a second or two on the app. This particular device doesn't actually have any PV attached to it. So the PV that's zero right now would also be updating. So all of the numbers you see on the screen, the load, the PV, the battery, and the grid, all those numbers update every few seconds straight into the app. And it also updates at the same frequency on the desktop version as well. Like I said, this is a huge update that a lot of people have been asking for uh, for probably this part of it, a year or more as we've been doing the community questions and answers with Craig from Fox. When I ask for questions, most people uh, have asked, when it when is it coming? Along with the app updating faster, the second most frequently asked question is when can I install firmware myself as an end user? So I thought I'd answer a bunch of these questions on this demo. So now we're all on the same page in terms of what it is, what the end result is, uh, what does it actually mean? So let me show you an example also of the desktop doing exactly the same thing. So I'll share my screen. We'll do this live, share screen, and I'm going to show you. There we go. So this is the Fox Cloud version 2. I believe that's the only version that's supported. I'm not sure whether the version 1 interface will update as rapidly. So at the moment, you can see I'm discharging 400 watts to my house load. I'm going to turn some stuff on and off using uh, some smart things integrations. So I'm going to put a, a two kilowatt load. So I've just done that. And within a second or two, we should see this discharge number also update. I might have lost my WebSocket. So one thing to, to see about this is it's using WebSocket technology. So if I uh, load up DevTools, and then we look at the network responses, if I uh, refresh, if we look at the socket, you'll notice every few seconds, there's a new message coming down the web socket. There it is. So my web socket had kind of timed out. So it's, it's showing what's going on there, 2.03. So now if I change that, say put a 2.5 kilowatt load on, any second now, you'll notice uh, this. There you go, 2.5. Let's put an even bigger load on it. Uh, let's go over 3.5. And you can see in the um, in the messages coming down the WebSocket exactly what's what's going on. Uh, you can see the the object data that's updating. So it is using a brand you know best of breed web technology. So you can see now I'm discharging at three point five. I'm going to change that back to base load again. Turn a few things off, and within a second, the next data pulse. There you go, back down to five hundred watts. So yeah, that's that's what's going on uh, on the desktop side. Uh, you're seeing it in in real time, which is 
which is what we expected, right? Mm. So both the mobile app, the Fox Cloud 2 app, and the version 2 of the Fox desktop version are both updating every few seconds. Fantastic. Now let's dig into what it means from a compatibility perspective. So on Craig's article, again, link in the description, you'll notice there is this table. Um, one thing to call out uh, that's going to stop you from, from using this is if you've got a legacy piece of hardware. So that is a non-generation 2 H1 series. So if you've got the original sort of classic version of a H1, you'll notice that's not here, that's not supported. Um, it's a hardware limitation. I think it was hinted at by Craig when I met with him uh, a few weeks ago in December. Uh, we were talking about the upcoming releases. So you have to have a newer style inverter and also a supported data logger. So uh, what we've got here, the H1 uh, Gen 2. Uh, this also includes, I think, the AC1 Gen 2 as well. So if it's got a G2 on the end of it and it's... Um, an inverter it almost and running this manager version it will most likely work because they're very similar hardware so the h1g2 the h1g2 with the integrated data logger called the wl i did a video about the wl version uh, back in november december time have a look at the previous videos there so you have the inverter type and the uh, the minimum firmware version here uh, so you can look at this this uh, matrix and figure out what you've got. I've also got some K-series, and I've got them on this version of the manager firmware. But actually, I don't have the latest version of the data logger. So even though I've got a, a K-series on the right firmware version, you must have uh, the newer style data logger. So that's called a WW uh, data logger. And you have to be on a certain version of firmware as well. The integrated uh, data loggers that are part of the H3 Smart and the WL version, the Gen 2. There's also a, uh, a WL version of the K series that's just come out as well. So not only do you have to match the inverter model and inverter minimum firmware, you also have to make sure you're on a compatible data logger. If you if you're on if you have the hardware above but don't necessarily have the data logger you are able to purchase a data logger. So you can buy, you can find the um, the YLAN WW data loggers uh, on the main uh, suppliers' websites for around £50 plus VAT and delivery. So it's not a huge upgrade if you want real time, but you have one of these inverters, but you don't have a compatible data logger. Um, another thing to consider is that you've updated your Fox app on, on your mobile phone or you're using the desktop version. So... This will become less and less of a thing to note because most people's phones are updating the app version automatically. So, yeah, this is what's going on here. You can see the the, the status on the um, on the right hand side here. So, as firmware versions are released and tested, I'm using this G2WL version here, and it's working great. Even though it's in testing, my tests show it works fine. If you are looking at these inverter models and you don't, uh, and you have a version that's previous to these, then it's not it's not a compatible feature with your hardware. And I don't believe that will change, but Craig will keep us updated as we go forward. So, yeah, you may be thinking, well, great, I've got a compatible inverter and I have a compatible data logger, and I've also updated the app on um, on my phone, but I still don't see the update probably because you need a firmware update. So get in touch with your installer who can press a few buttons in their uh, their agent console and send down the firmware. They need to update not only the inverter, but the data logger. If you don't have an installer or your installer has ceased to trade, you can contact Fox Support and they're able to send down firmware to your system. Just shoot them an email and include your uh, data logger and your inverter serial number so they can locate your hardware and update it for you. Uh, if you're in the UK and you're looking and you don't have an installer, your installer has ceased to trade, I also offer a remote installer as a service. So have a look at the description. You'll see the digital services link there. But yep, satisfy all these requirements from a hardware and a software perspective and you will uh, see your data updating every few seconds in the app and on the desktop. 
hope uh, hope that makes sense any questions just comment below thanks for watching